So you will have seen that we've completed the ditch work in terms of filling in the ditch, but this is now a kind of stage two, next bit of the project, um, which is mortaring around the sides of the water source to create the runoff for any overflowing water. Isn't that right, Kat? Wow. Straight away, I've noticed a problem. Do you remember this being so bent in that direction? What? The, the train's bent. It's not aligned with the water source. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's not fine. Look. Wow. Me and the cat think it's fine. It's not fine. That's like well bent out of shape. It's not like, you know, unless you're hovering above the water source and looking at it with your mathematically aligned eyes. I haven't got mathematically aligned eyes, I just grew normal. <laughs> then they didn't grow. My eyes didn't grow. <laughs> you didn't grow a set of eyes. Do you? <laughs> but do they come out the same size as like they went in sort of thing. <laughs> I didn't realise sperm were eyeball sized. You're an idiot. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to put rocks around this. Yeah, but it looks stupid. Look, it's not aligned properly. It's going to be hidden. Also, why is it disgusting and look burned? What's what going to be to hidden? It? It's not going to be hidden. It is. It will be mostly hidden around rocks. Help me adjust it. No, because the whole thing will probably collapse and we've just buried it. Take this. That is not coming out straight. Does it matter, Woopoo? Yes. This looks stupid. Are you woo poo? I was asking her, not you. So you're literally digging it up. I've got to dig it. Yeah, I've got to dig the gravel out of the way of it. Oh my goodness. I want no part of this. So while I was changing the camera battery, you moved it? Yes. Right. Of course, now it's not level. No, that's because you decided to start digging it up. Very good. Now what? Uh, I've been um, cleaning my rocks. <laughs> cleaning your rocks? Yeah. These rocks, this little sort of can that you've made over That's here. That's right. You really have washed them? Cleaned them, yeah. Brushed them off? Yeah, because it won't stick to mud generally. Mortar doesn't like to stick to mud, so you've got to get the mud off the rocks. The mortaring the rocks. How did you expect it to work? We've got to mortar the rocks in place, otherwise they won't stay there. That's generally how you do it, I think, having never done it before, he says. So it looks like the kitchen step? Yes. Yeah, you're right in the way. We can't see anything now. So it looks like this, I guess. <coughs> Bless you. You can see the sort of mortar lines around here. This is a cat. And yeah, I guess it'll look like this. The rock can is being moved over here. It's going bright white in the uh, sun. Is that all the rocks we've got? Well, there's some here as well, but they need to be cleaned. Oh. <laughs> you got a little wire brush for them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've got, I've marked the area out now with a um, piece of string, as you can see, uh, it's roughly sort of the gradient that we want it and sort of level. Um, I just need your input <laughs> on problems that you can see or anything else, because I've never done anything like this before. And then just another pair of eyes on it is going to be useful. Your first problem is... <laughs> Are you still building a little run? 
Yeah. To go, okay, okay, that's not a problem then. Uh, you've only got like 10 rocks. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, are we having bits of mortar this wide? Uh, we get, get little tiny rocks and stick them in there. Okay. I'm not cleaning little tiny rocks. <laughs> it's very boring. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll have to do that then. Yes. And <laughs> remember the half pipe? <laughs> Aren't you mortaring like a channel kind of thing? It'd have to be like along here, I think. Um, yeah, no, that was the plan. Mm. That was the plan. Um, I was thinking maybe I could employ your skills as an artist. <laughs> what? <laughs> To, um, what skills are they? <laughs> design a little run in keeping with these twirls over here, maybe. Design a little run. Yeah, in keeping with these twiddles, maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> a run for what? The water. What things that go on the side? Don't know. Something to guide the water into this drain here, <laughs> in the shape of that. <laughs> You want to make a bloody slip and slide or something? Yeah. <laughs> or a like water park slide? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Half pipe! <laughs> just do Stop half, saying half just... pipe. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. But this is because I carved one pumpkin that you've now decided that I've got. No, you're quite a good art. You are quite a good artist, my love, in just drawing things offhand. So <laughs> off you go. <laughs> I've never demonstrated any artistic skill <laughs> at all. Now's your chance. Show me all the blueprints. Really want to see those blueprints. What's that from? Uh, the aviator. Oh yeah. How to use, show me all the blueprints. All the blueprints, show me all the blueprints. Show me all the blueprints. Can see those blueprints. Really want to see those blueprints. Ah, oh, look at that. I drew it in crayon as all of the best blueprints are drawn. <laughs> but I just wondered if we could have like twiddly mortar work. But then it I thought... It's lovely, my love, but it's up in the air. Whereas what? you've drawn it sort of face on. So what, what, what is going on here? Is, are they really up in the air? <laughs> They'll be over where Wupu is at the moment, won't they? Isn't that where you want them? Can you, can you draw it top down? Because I can't understand it. It looks really pretty, <laughs> but I don't understand. What's this stuff? Waves? No, this is the rocks okay. and the drain. Look, there's yeah, the drain. Yeah. Here's the gate uh -huh. of the water yeah, yeah, source. Yeah, and that. this is the water yes, source. Yeah, no, I understand. That's the tree. I got, yes. This is a bit of the bank. Like, bank, and this is the other bit of the yes. bank. And there's the weird box thing that the cat's currently yes. drinking out of. And then we put twiddly bits in front of it the uh, little channels for the water to go down. Can you draw it top down for me as well? Cause, no. Cause I, can't, I can't understand it. So I'm really glad that you think I've got good artistic skill. This is basically a snail. Yes, you've drawn a snail. And this was my attempt at a sort of top down thing. This would be like a little channel with a twiddly bit on the end. It occurred to me just around the corner from the kids' school is that stonemasons. And what if they've got twiddly bits that we could use because i don't think we have any level of skill ever in our bones to make twiddly bits out of mortar and mortar twiddly bits will look like <laughs> probably look like little turds <laughs> <laughs> not if we do them with care <laughs> have you watched our videos <laughs> so... okay I've drawn you some fallopian tubes. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Here's the water source, and yeah. here's the drain, and here's the twiddly bits. Yeah. This is not to scale, and these are rocks, and that's a tree, and these are the ditch uh -huh. things, and the twiddles can go like that. And are then... they recessed into the ground? Is that what they're supposed to be, or? Top down doesn't demonstrate that. No, but I'm wondering what are they channels mm, or are yeah. they lump? above the ground? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that far. 
Uh, well, that's kind of crucial. Well, no, I don't think they should be below the ground because otherwise they won't drain into the bloody drain, will they? They need to be above the ground in order to reach the drain that is above the ground. Yeah, so they're, they're above, they're out. Out, Built yes. on top of. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, mortaring. <laughs> yeah. Don't fall in the water source. No. Okay, I think I, I think I see. So you're expecting, going back to the diagram for a sec. Uh huh. You, um, in your diagram, are expecting the water to go this way. Mhm. Mm but it doesn't go into the drain. Yes, it does. Look, my fallopian tubes end at the drain. <laughs> It's not like a curve like that, where it's flat on the underside. It's like a curve curve. Like I said, a half pipe. <laughs> you and your half bloody pipe. So what? It's got to be, hasn't it? It can't be anything other than a proper, oh, oh, okay. so you, a proper channel. You are saying that this is your pipe, your half pipe. Whoops. Yeah. Curvy. So these walls are on either side and yes. these are little channels. And how does the water get into the, ch the channel-y thing? Well, you start building it up from here and I guess the second half of it, the back side of it is built up over there and it channels down this way. It's really good, but could do another one. <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> it's blown away in the wind already. <laughs> One big channel. I hate it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Help us out of our artist block, Wupu. What's the solution? You sure? That one's nice. I like the twirly bits, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and I don't like the other one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm out. Oh. For that reason, I'm out. But okay, you get rid of this massive, great lump of nonsense, and I'll draw the. I'll try and draw in. No. Drawing stuff. So Helen's had to nip out. Um, I need to get rid of this stupid sort of protruding uh, rock that's in the way of this water source over here. That ought to do it. Let's have a look. There we go. Was here. Annoying lump out the way now, so everyone's a winner. What are we making today? <laughs> you forgot your line. I you do. only got one line <laughs> and you forgot your line. Yep. We're going to make katsu curry, um, which I love over in England and really miss over here. So I've scoured the web for various recipes and sort of nicked bits from the best ones. So dead simple. Um, I have got here a couple of chicken breast. This is going to serve two. So two big, nice fat chicken breast, which I have um, breadcrumbed. I've used these breadcrumbs, obviously these are French, <laughs> um, but they're basically extra crunchy breadcrumbs. I think it's meant to be panko breadcrumbs for traditional katsu, but I have done what I can in the supermarket. And for the sauce, I've got an onion, which I'm going to fry with some garlic over here. A whole carrot diced up which is going to go in a um, little bit of soy sauce a little bit of honey i've got some curry madras with three chilies on it uh, french curry powder is a little bit weak so i've gone for the strongest one i can get a little bit of flour to make up the sauce and chicken stock so let's get going so i'll get the chicken on the go first and warm up the oil at the back for my onion and my garlic. So into my frying pan, I'm just going to let my chicken sit and just get nice and golden. 
all I want to happen. I'm not going to fully cook this through in the pan. I'm going to put it in the oven, but this is just to crisp up and um, get a nice golden colour on those breadcrumbs. And while that is happening, my oil is warming up at the back for me to put my onion in. So I'm going to pop that in. And I've just put enough oil in, it's sunflower oil, just to kind of lightly cover the onions. And I'll leave them to cook for about six seven minutes so my chicken is nice and golden now I'm just going to try and pick this up without breaking the breadcrumb Whee, there we go so i am going to finish this off in the oven for about 20 minutes because these are quite big chicken breast and i'm just going to cover them with a little bit of foil because i don't want them to cook any more than they already have or color sorry any more than they already have into the oven for these guys and we can get on with the sauce. So this is about 180 in the oven. There we go. So I've had my onion going for about five minutes. Into that I'm going to add my garlic. That is about five cloves of garlic because as well as spice in this household we like garlic. And I'm going to let that cook through again for another few minutes. So into my onion and garlic that's been going for probably in total about eight or nine minutes now I'm just gonna throw in my carrot it's got a random bit of garlic skin on it there we go let that mix through into that I am gonna add a tablespoon of my curry powder let's go for that there we go keep stirring this so that nothing burns I'm going to add flour this is just plain flour this will thicken it make it saucy when we add the stock so I'm going to do it a little at a time rather than just walloping it all in in one go and just let it combine and you can see that that is now going really saucy thickening right up thanks to the flour slowly into this now I'm going to add my chicken stock And again, I'm going to add it a little bit at a time because you can see it immediately affects that floury mixture and thickens it. So I don't want it to go lumpy. Exactly the same sort of principle as making any other kind of gravy. And there we go. My uh, sidekick, cameraman, just reminded me that I didn't put the soy or the honey in. So I'm going to put the equivalent of about a teaspoon of soy in. And you can use maple syrup instead of honey if you want. I've got honey in and not maple syrup. About a teaspoon of honey. There we go. And now I'm just going to let this sit and keep warm while I get my uh, chicken out of the oven and get some rice on to serve this with. So I've got my plate ready to go. Um, I cooked up some just normal plain boil in the bag rice, um, just plain white rice. So didn't show you that because it's rice, it's boil in the bag. And with a julienne peeler, I've just made some little ribbons of carrot and cucumber to go on the side. And I've got my chicken breast here, which I have sliced because we're going to let all that katsu sauce run through the slices. So I'll just fan that out a little bit. That cooked for about, I'd say about 30 minutes in the end, that chicken, because it was quite thick. Finally, over goes the katsu sauce. There we 
go. And this sauce recipe actually makes enough for about four people, four servings, but it's freezeable. So you can save it if you make too much and have delicious katsu curry another day. But for now, here is katsu curry um, with plain white rice and shredded carrot and cucumber. It is so tasty. I love katsu curry sauce. It's delicious. Tasty. I'm starving. Let's get tucking into it. Bon appétit. We are continuing the work on the water source. We're laying bits of stone <laughs> and mortaring them into place. That's today's job. But also, we did not um, ignore those of you who said, what the hell are you doing with these bamboo roots? Why would you throw them into the field? <laughs> so we very dutifully, or Paul very dutifully, collected them all up and look. We've got a little bath there, a little burner. And uh, we are getting rid of the bamboo roots. We've got a little pile of them here. The remains to go. And also some Halloween pumpkins there. <laughs> and uh, yep, we are going to get rid of them. So that we don't end up with a bamboo forest <laughs> down in our field, because that would suck. Mm. So yeah. Uh, Let's go and do stuff. This is in the way... <laughs> of the water going neatly that way so part of this has got to go it's um it's just poured concrete it's nothing ancient so um rather yes. than sitting rather than using my hand claw hammer here i thought we've got a, a bit of power tool action well Let's off you see. go Okay, um, so there's muck. You, have, you don't know about this, but I'm um, come to come and have a look. Where's yeah, this? it's a bit dark over here actually. It's gone into shadow. I discovered um, that actually this isn't rock; it's muck. Ew. So, Sludge. Yeah. Gross. It needs to be unblocked. Oh right. Joy. <laughs> and is that why you need me? Yeah, because I might find treasures in there. Ooh. Gold, frankincense, Frankenstein, and other creatures. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I found this. Let's see if it fits. It goes in. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it yes, it down. does. Oh, interesting. It goes in so far. This is rock over here. I don't know if you can get in there. Oh, this look bit, at that. Yeah, look, that's rock here. And it's sort of... It might be um, limestone deposit, but... Um, Lime scale. Yeah, essentially. Mm. But this bit here is not, so... Okay. Look at this. It's a sort of round bit here. Where? Right, here. Oh, the little, oh yeah, the little That's ramp. Right. Yeah, there's like a little ramp bit, just there. How peculiar. Huh. Ugh, slurry. The cats will drink that in a minute. What do you think that is in the water source hole? That is one unit of woo poo sort of poking our whole body into the water source hole. Woo poo. Don't go all the way in there. What are you up to, eh? Was it nice? No comment? No? Okay. Lime mortar. You've got lime mortar. And this is this is concrete. That's concrete, and uh, the lime gonna... mortar changes the colour of the concrete. Yeah, so it matches a bit more. Manky um, grey to a stone. sort of 
beigey stone. Yeah, I don't want it to look blue and ridiculous like Portland cement, so we'll see. Anyway, this is the mixing vessel. Oh, what? No, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? That's our one and only working barrow. You are not using the barrow. <laughs> well, well, find me another mixing vessel. You've got vessel. that enormous box. Nah, it's not going to work. Darling, you're not using my barrow. It'll be fine. No. No, no! Paul! What? You can buy a new barrow then. Nah. It'll oh, be fine. Oh, you... No! You suck. No. I hope it tips over. No, that would be a, a bit of a problem. So, that's the colour it, it, it's going to be. So we oh, hello! Right. Cats. Sorry. The cat I got more they interested by. This is not a process for cats to be involved in. With this you don't you don't want to inhale this at all. It's quite toxic. What is it? The lime water. Yeah. Okay. Cats, did you get the memo on that? Any particular reason you're not wearing a mask? Do you like to live dangerously? No, I'm just not gonna breathe it in. I'm going to put two of these in, okay? Just for the record. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so to remember it. Oh, okay. How's it looking? Wet. I assume it's all right. I don't know. Good. Right. I don't Take over the camera again. I think that there are any. Where's your gloves? Powdery sections. I don't know. You just went there. Seems you've got so many videos. You do. <laughs> So, you know, I just stepped up. I'm not a princess like you. Right. Right, so, <laughs> cement. It's good that you've there. put a path of massive rocks in your way. Yeah, I like to be prepared. <laughs> and a string. And a piece of string. Are you anticipating that that string is going to hold this <laughs> super runny cement? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Why haven't we got any shuttering? This squared off area, which we'll focus on in a moment, or rectangled off area, is all this concrete going to go into that and then stones sat into it? Because if it is, why don't we have shuttering around it? Because it's not supposed to be a concretey thing. It's just, this is supposed to hold the stones. Right. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yep. It's so sloppy now. It was sloppy to start with. Go away. There's nothing here for you. Helpful cat. Yep. Curiosity killed the, remember? Mm. She really wants her water source drink. Why do they only want to do something where it's gonna be dangerous to them? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to come into this wet, get away. I didn't even see her behind me. Sneak ninja cat. I'll just find her licking the lime mortar in a minute. I shouldn't even joke. No, she will. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I did that one coat better, just slodged down the... Yeah. Let's do the reveal. How did oh, it turn yeah. out? Well, how did it turn <laughs> out? <laughs> I had to leave and go and get the children, so I haven't seen this. This is as it happens stuff. Ugh, right. Okay. I'm just going to take it off and then turn and look. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's so funny, I haven't even looked yet. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why is it funny? You know that bit in The Simpsons where Homer builds a barbecue? <laughs> It's one fine-looking barbecue pit. Why doesn't mine look like that? Ah! Now have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Is it, is it dry? Oh, it doesn't look dry. It doesn't look dry. Oh, no, it's dry. It's dry. It's okay. hard. Wow. Well, <laughs> look at that. Yes. What a nice addition to our 18th century <laughs> ancient water source. Now we fix it. Oh, how? <laughs> With um, the in-between bits. <laughs> what? That's, What's this? That's a rock. It's just been put in sideways. Yeah, that's a sideways. Why is that a house brick? That came like it. Oh dear.